Well, uh, we're here with. Uh, oh, should I say my name? Yeah, you should say. Oh, name. Kelly. Kelly. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Keith. Keith. Bill. Bill. <laughs> Bill. Okay. No and, uh, bones about it. Actually, my name is Robert. I was just trying to go along with the K, uh, K like moment. Cut and curl. Right. Crazy no, it's Robert. Mine is Walter, and that's Kevin. Curly fries. <laughs> Well, in case you don't know him, this is uh, Jody Grind from yeah, the, Jody the Jody Grind from uh, from Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Not Atlanta. 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 So the Braves didn't do too well this year. The Braves never do well. No, well the Braves Next did year. well it's a long sad. time ago. It's long sad. Time. You gotta have like a martyr complex to like the Braves, which I do, I guess. But uh, wow, dig that wind. Yeah. But um. No, they didn't. It's because we had Ernest P. Worrell as our mascot, that guy who goes, hey, Vern. Oh, yeah. Have you seen him? That guy I, yeah. disgusting. He, he was really there the disgusting. day I sang the national anthem. I almost, I almost got to meet him. Oh, yeah? Dang. But I met his manager. He was a nice guy. I was freaking out so bad I don't quite remember much about it. But anyway, that's why I, I blame it all on Ernest P. Well, I would blame it on him, fired, too. Didn't he? I they dropped him. Yeah. Well, I, I can understand why. I would probably <laughs> drop him, too. His movies were horrible. Did you see? Did you catch no, him on cable or no. the dollar? He really likes ourselves to that. I don't like him. My husband My husband likes him, and that was given to Teddy, my husband. My husband's a big Ernest fan and has seen Ernest Saves Christmas about six times. So... Boy, that wind that is nasty. Yeah, oh, no, I nice. didn't either. I've stayed away. So what do you think of the Michigan weather? It's it's very depressing. I it? like it. That's actually a nice change. It's been real the same all in the northeast it so is. far. Uh -huh. So it's nice to have something like come you know and kick noticed, you. I don't know. You guys can tell me because you travel more recently. But is it, the climate gets colder. Do the people get colder too? Yes. They Toronto. tend to be like... But it wasn't cold. Yeah, it wasn't cold in Toronto. It wasn't cold. They were just mean. I mean, yeah, oh, they well, weren't like altogether mean. Well, I think individually people are nice. It's just getting to know them, I think. Is a, I suppose. Well, in um, um, Toronto, they, we would tell them, well, they, it's like they knew we were American and they like gave us the big uh, nose thing. Well, plus, and every time we mentioned we were from... Atlanta, they talked about the Olympics like they were jealous or something, and we we could care less. We, me and Robert, are actually anti Olympics, anti -Olympics. but um, we don't. We think it's just going to be a pain in the neck. But yeah, they they actually, were just kind of they were I they were biased. Long term because Bill's for it long term. I think no, I think it's a gener. I don't know. I'm st I still can't figure it out, but it's. On the one hand, you have progress, and on the other hand, you have people. Right. And I, I still, I know, I, I can't figure it out. And I wonder, though, if where will be six years, I wish we could somehow divide the city in two. To find I, out I personally what progress. it would be like to have one or the other, because I, I just think it's going to be great to be able to complain about it. <laughs> really? It's definitely be a lot of comedy material. Right, right. I think it's going to be yeah. good to complain about it. And I know, as as it being a, a guy who used to paint houses, it's going to generate huge amounts of uh, labor-intensive jobs. Yeah. And those jobs are going to, if you're, if you are, Atlanta is the place to be if you are going to be a stripper, because this the next six years it's going to attract a huge amount of uh, construction workers who do nothing. But uh, you know, that's business part. <laughs> Yeah, the, only, the only thing that's annoying is I, there's <laughs> got to be a, a better way to channel Atlanta it. Yeah. To channel. Yes, indeed. You're gonna, it, the, the social goods that will arise of it will be nothing to what they could be. You know, they're going to waste. Like the, the Olympic housing they're going to build, rather than build it uh, in a place that could then become low income housing or, or housing for. It's going to be unused. It's going to be used at a college. It's going to become a college dorm. And you know that's so dumb because yeah. you know you could use this as an event to build for the city for for people, yeah. and instead you're only going to build for a one time event. for the percentage it makes a lot of money. So in that and case, it's not progress. Right. For that case, it's very very bad. Well, it sounds like poor management. I think. Ex well, it's horrendous management. That's going to be the next so best thing be about good it. For strippers. 
<laughs> construction workers. Strippers, construction and I think workers. probably homeowners as well. I think. Taxi cab drivers. For a home, taxi yes. cab. Yeah. I think generally the economy is going to be better in, right. from in, a, in those man. terms. But yeah. the only thing that annoys me about it is you could get so much out of something like that and you only get one side of the benefit. That's why we're for Rob for president, the common sense candidate. He, uh, common sense, right? Yep. Yeah, he's gonna like. Uh, he's got a whole platform. We'll start you out as mayor of Atlanta and move you up from there. How's that? Good enough. Wait, want to ask about the song? Yeah. Okay. Questions I took all the time to write down this oh, afternoon. Oh man, right, the written I was, questions. I was. I was, okay. I was right. thinking. And, and Let me see which one. Trying to figure out what. You wrote this one, didn't you, Lenny? No, I was sent to me. <laughs> okay. Written questions, okay. From the cable guys. From the cable. Where did you get your name? Where did you get your name? Who came up with it? Horse Silver. It's from a Horse Silver oh, album. Oh, damn it. A horse at a racetrack, did you say? No. Hor hor <laughs> uh, horse <laughs> Silver, jazz horse. pianist. Oh, okay. Piano player, horse. that oh, is. Okay. And, um, I worked in a record store in Atlanta called Wax and Facts, and I would always follow the jazz records away. And every time I get to the S's, I'd be looking through, and it said the Jody Grind. We used to be called An Evening with the Garbage Man. Oh, yeah. And that was well, that when I met Bill, he had an open mic night at this bar, and that's what it was called. And yeah. it sort of turned into, the, it sort of evolved into a band because the same people would show up and we'd, we would rock on together. Rock on. Rock on. <laughs> and um, rock on. And uh, so that became a band, but we kept. We'd arrive at cities and be billed as like an evening with the garage men or the garbage men or the garbage players, and uh -huh. people were confused. And <laughs> somehow, like the cramps got in it. People thought because there's like a cramp song, it's like the garbage man or something. Right, right. But so it was kind of confusing. And when we had to change our name, right. that we sort of settled on the Jody Grind. We were trying to find but something out of our. It's no different from the Jody Grind because people spell it the Jody Grind. I know. Jody. Jody Judy Grind. Here she is, Miss Judy. Judy, Judy Miss Judy, Judy Grind. Grind. Judy Garland, and have you been called? Keep calling me Jody, so it's just kind of even worse. But we needed like a shorter name or something, according to people in the know. I know I have to say your name a couple times, and I say the Jody Grind. I have to make sure I enunciate it right. because people. Say, Oh, yeah, there was this guy. There was this guy across the street. Hey, what band are y'all? And I went, the Jody Grind, the Voodoo Hippies. <laughs> no, the Jody Grind. He said, Oh, and then he left. He wasn't impressed. That's the breaks. Oh wow, you can't yeah. please everybody. So you got to please people. I should have said, and, uh, Yeah, we're the Voodoo Hippies. Come on down. Give me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. So um, how long did it take you to get all the material on this album? This latest one. Yeah, that was before Robert um, joined us. Uh, well, speaking of Robert, he just joined the band when? A, year, a little over a year a ago. Year, yeah. Six days. days. And you wouldn't Last know how. Y'all been keeping tabs. Check yeah, it out. Yeah. I forgot. You, you guys are real tight. Real tight. Y'all love me. Well, it just happens to follow my mother's birthday, too, so. It's not uh, <laughs> we had, what when we went into the studio, we had four songs original. And then, we wrote like the, and then we wrote the rest as we were there, kind of. Yes. Well, Blue and Far, that was, yeah, that was like a one-tape try. That was like a last-minute thing. And then we did a couple different covers, and some of them were scrapped, and some of them made it. And I forget. It was about half and half. Uh -huh. And we had been playing most of the song, most of the originals. We've been playing for like a year, I guess. Okay. Yeah, right. almost exactly a year, because it was summer. What are your eyebrows working for? Yeah, it was, been, it was about a year, nine months, most of them. Yes, yes, yes. My Indubitably. Yes man. My yes man. <laughs> so, oh, about a year. Huh? Interesting. Very interesting. 